Well, it was a big day to celebrate. He goes into the hall of fame in 2005, his old rival, Sergeant Slaughter inducts him. what do you think of Sheik's induction speech? It was true Sheik, man. It was, I think what everyone expected. And you, you know, sometimes you, you pay for what you get and that, that was the Sheik. But I also, when you look back at people that deserve to be in the hall of fame, man, Sheik is one of those guys that I'm glad that he got his just due in the hall of fame. Without question, uh, a bona fide Hall of Famer. We know that uh, he's going to pop up a little bit here and there, including in 2007. He appears on Raw with uh, Jimmy Snuka. It's a tape segment where they're showing their appreciation for Vince McMahon. And uh, on August 13th, he does a, uh, a WWE version of American Idol where Volkov's going to come out and seeing the Soviet anthem. And of course he supports him there and he pops up again in 08 and 09 and 10. It feels like, you know, every year or every, every other year, Vince McMahon is finding a way to just pay homage to the iron Sheik. but somewhere along the way, he made a fairly random appearance on Howard Stern and it gave him like a new life. What do you remember about that appearance? And the crazy catchphrases coming out of it and, and all that you guys were seeing from afar. Well, I think that there was, uh, there were rumors, you know, that she could maybe, uh, been dabbling, maybe drinking a little bit too much and, and dabbling in the recreational drugs again. And, and it was kind of sad from an outside viewpoint looking in because you, you feel for the guy and he truly is someone that I respect when you look back at his life and everything that he has done in his life from a small child and growing up in Iran and becoming a champion wrestler, becoming the bodyguard to the Shah of Iran, escaping Iran and making a name for himself all over the world, a, a, a huge name in an industry filled with huge names that to this day, people still, he's at the top of that list. So I have the utmost respect for him. And I just thought, look, I'm not a big Howard Stern fan in the first place. So I just thought that they kind of took advantage of him. And it was, it was an opportunity to do the things that we have fun with, with Sheik. And I will humble you and fuck you, Brian Blair in the ass. Um, Brian Blair doesn't even know where that came from, which is great. Uh, but Sheik pissing himself and all that and, and exploiting that, uh, I just, personally, I didn't like it. It does. Yes, get. it was notoriety, and yes, it got his name out there, and yes, people had a good laugh. Personally, I didn't like it. He does uh, land some some managers who, who think, hey, there's some money in this, and he would start to do comedy club tours and made some appearances on the cartoon network. And, um, you know, I mean, he became a little bit of a, an internet sensation there for a while. And there was even a documentary a few years ago, which I believe is available on Amazon. that I recommend everybody check out and all the greats pay homage, you know, from Jim Ross to the rock and everybody in between.